Hey you guys, okay today this is gonna be such a good one. We've got empties, we've got products that suck, we've got a new jacket. Okay, let me first of all, before we get into it, I'm gonna do like a little outfit of the day. Show you guys, okay. Um, I self tanned for the first time in a long time. We'll get to it, okay. We have something coming up this these next several weeks. I'll be, I'm not like taking a break or anything. Oh, I'm going, no. I love social media. I love Instagram. LTK, I'm there every day, multiple times a day. Outfits that you don't see on Instagram and things. All of that, you guys know. Instagram, I love it. If I didn't want to do it, I wouldn't do it ever, okay? So I don't see like the whole, I don't know. I don't get the whole social media break and everything. I just try to... And we talked about this in the podcast this week. Approach it in a healthy way. As healthy as you can, right? And, you know, I never want to just hit it so hard and then say, oh, I got to take a step back. Well, then what you're doing all the time isn't working, you know? There's times when things happen in your life. You have big life events. Obviously, you may not be posting as much. But I'm just not like a, a break type of person. As you guys know, we've rarely skipped a video here in 15 years. When I had Olivia, I think I was, I mean, not to brag, because that was probably not great. Um, I think I, like, filmed the next week, because I was just like, hey, let's talk, you know, guys, friends, how you doing? Um, but my point is, all that to say, this next week, I physically will not be able, not physically, I mean, I'm fine, but we're going to be somewhere where I won't be able to film a video for here, and I just want to take a break, be with my family, for, for YouTube, you know what I mean? I've got 15 years of videos, go back, watch some. Um, but we'll have this one, next week will be a break, and then the next week we've got um, all the Sephora fun and all that's happening the next week. So uh, we'll just kind of pick right back up, but just no video this next week, and that's okay. It'll be fine. Um, but, you know, I'll be on Instagram probably more than ever, so hang out, hang out with me there, guys. I got so much to share. Before I get into that, though, let's go ahead and talk about this. I am not, like, so much of an embellishment type of gal. I have in the past. I just rarely will buy something classic that is, like, a denim jacket or something like that. And then, think, oh, I need some pearls. Never would think that. But, and I think a lot of times, they're just not done great. I want something comfy. I don't want something to look cheesy. This is so fun. It is buttery soft. The pearls are so beautiful. They're like different sizes, so they look kind of like sprinkled. And um, I'm just really, really, really into this jacket. So I'll have better photos and things um, on my LTK. And let's talk about this dress. What is that back there? Oh, if you guys missed my last video about the um, toys, that's the little uh, thing that I got for my nephew. Listen, if you skip that last video because you think, like, I don't care about kids, yes, you do. You do care about toys. You got to watch it. It's so good. Uh, the prices are really good right now where I link to those. I saved so much. And um, I shared just kind of like some Christmas things that we do, kind of like how we handle Santa and all that. And then... I shared some really good tips for organizing Legos and stuff, so check that out. It's going. Okay, so jacket, so good. And again, like just something I never would really think like, yeah, let me get that pearl jean jacket. That's usually not my vibe. This is one of those uh, dresses by Skims that, and they make them in all different cuts, all different like shapes up top. I will link to the exact one that I'm wearing here. I got a medium. I've eyed these for a long time and I thought I'll get the long sleeved one. Um, because I thought that would make sense for fall and it's really really comfortable. I honestly didn't expect to like it as much as I do. I kind of like the vibe of like who cares about it showing every little thing. You get it in black. I thought about getting the black which I kind of want to get the black now too. I just didn't expect to like it as much as I do. <sighs> the weather you guys. Today I think the high is like 64, 65. Starting to get there, you guys. Starting to feel like fall. But I'll link to this um, with something like this, which you would think it can actually look really classic and beautiful just if you pair it with the right things. And I paired it with these beautiful hoops that I think out of all the hoops that I own, you guys know 
I love so many different ones. I love the Melinda Maria. I think that's probably one of my favorite jewelry brands. These are Miranda Fry, also one of my favorite jewelry brands. Miranda Fry does really delicate, like beautiful, fine looking gold pieces. Where we're going, like on our trip, I, I probably will just bring these, maybe a tiny pair of hoops. But these are bigger, but visually they don't take up so much, like you, they don't read as like, Okay, she's wearing some big hoops, you know what I mean? They look very classy, very classic, and um, I just really, really love them. So I'll link to those. And then also, what am I wearing? Oh, this, I was like, maybe I should take off one thing, but I love this necklace. It's that big, chunky teardrop that I think is so pretty. And then this smaller one is also Miranda Fry. This is just perfect. So good for layering. It hits right at the right point um i do have a code for miranda fry so i'll put that below for you guys i think we're ready to go okay so y'all know this has been one heck of a summer between like you know my foot and then having to wear the boot breaking that and then you know i then right when i got out of the boot i started wearing that heart monitor that had to stay on all the time which that's fine i go tomorrow for my like real visit with my cardiologist i went for an echo I think last week or the week before and they did this like bubble test thing where they like put something in your veins like to see how it's like running I mean I feel great um, but I am curious to talk to the cardiologist tomorrow um, but everything's good and thanks for thinking of me and I even hate to say that because it could be so much there's nothing like I'm fine you know what I mean but I do want to update y'all and didn't just want to like leave you hanging with that but I wasn't at the pool much this summer I mean we were here and there um, you know, I didn't get out there too much. I would go out there sometimes and just like take the boot off and just be like, come on. But I had a funny little tan line. Um, I didn't want to be doing like a lot of self tanner during that. And then I had that stick on heart monitor and it was just like, ugh. okay. So kind of to get ready for our upcoming trip, I wanted to self tan. I've talked about this brand for years, the loving tan. This is not sponsored. Um, I just wanted to tell you guys about this. I've bought and talked about this brand for years. I've demoed this. You guys have seen it. Uh, but they reached out to me, I think right around the time I broke my foot. And they were like, hey, you, you know, we'd like to send you some stuff. And I'm like, sure, already love your products. Like, yeah, that's what I really like. I turned down so many things, so many tanning companies, so many products. I just, but I do like to try new things. So I, oh, I like, you know, but, but I'm picky about what I do accept. But when I saw this, I was like, I love your stuff. Like, give me what you got, okay? But um, anyways, I have a code where you guys can get a free mitt. But this is the only self-tanning brand that I use and pretty much the only self-tanner. They have a regular foam. It's amazing. I've used that too. The 2-Hour Express is my favorite. The tone of this is what's incredible. I use the medium. I've also used the medium deep or medium tan over the years. I don't know. You can't go wrong because they don't have such like a bright yellowy tone to them like a lot of self tanners do it's more so like a true like brownish almost red tone but not but you know i mean it looks good it looks real and it wears off beautifully they have tan removal products they have all kinds of products that you can use to prep exfoliators all that i don't do a lot differently when i know i'm gonna start tanning i just do like you know maybe a week before i'll make sure that i've exfoliated good which i typically do anyway um moisturizes I always do I don't put any extra moisturizer I don't put any less I just use what I normally do and then later that day I'll do this now this is a tinted product so no need to be like oh first start here then do that it's you're gonna see if there's gonna be a streak and you just buff it out you know what I mean so there's it's foolproof I mean it's not like a clear self tanning formula where you'll miss spots and then it develops later and you're like whoa this is tented so you can see everywhere that it's going you rub it in and it's beautiful and you can kind of see what the finished product is going to look like because it's tented i'll put on like a junky tank top and shorts and i'll just hang out um for for the day now it you don't want to get in the shower for two hours but i'll kind of wait a little bit longer you know and then shower right before bed the guide color washes off and your tan's already developed and it's beautiful I just love it so much. I don't know why I brought my, probably to show you guys, I mean, the mitt's real good, but you can get a free mitt, um, which is key. You gotta have that mitt. So um, I'll link to that. But a lot of you guys do ask about self-tanning stuff and they're really nice enough to send me that and to give me a code. Okay, so I do have some makeup that is garbage. Some things that I've tried that I kind of tried a long time ago that I really do hate bashing, 
brands for clickbait you see people they're like oh let me show you everything that sucks you know and it's like i don't want to always do that because someone else might like it i'm not the end all be all i'm not that like to think that if i say it sucks it sucks you know what i mean someone might like it but um but i do have some opinions i do have some things that after i really thought about it really i was like i gotta share this okay so we'll get there Quickly at the top, I mean, these are things that I was like, should I show this? I don't know. Body wash. I always get the fun ones from Bath and Body Works. Um, I had a cucumber melon, a sun blooms and shade. The cocoa paradise was good. I think I've probably thrown away more since it's pretty as a peach, but I both use all those. So we go through those pretty quickly. Um, let's do lotion. I do like the Bath and Body Works lotions. Just any scent. I don't know. They're good. The cocoa paradise was good. Um, I got through... Where's that other lotion? Did I put it in here? Oh my goodness. The Kylie Skin Lotion that I got from the Nordstrom sale. Love that stuff so much. This is the best body scrub. This is the absolute best. It says it's a scalp and body scrub. I've used it on my scalp a few times. It's not my vibe. Uh, but I re it's the best body scrub. And it's the St. Bart's scent. It is the best scent. Oh my gosh, I can't wait. To get more of that stuff this too i was like i knew i had more body lotion this i just got through i bought the set of two at the nordstrom sale and this was amazing this is the um, osea anti-aging body balm i've used the osea body oil before which i love sometimes i don't always love the scent of these it's kind of like a citronella it smells like citronella so a lot i mean that's the only thing i would change about this would be the scent but the product is unmatched and i would buy this again and again because I kind of pair it with a body lotion. You can certainly use it on its own, but there's times like I'll use a body lotion and then I'll use like a pump of this, kind of mix it up. It's truly like a body serum. So it gives you the look of like you've used a body oil, like it makes your skin kind of um, shiny and pretty, but it's just beautiful. Anti-aging body balm, really unique, beautiful product. Um, the Pantene dry shampoo spray. This was great. I'm telling you, like I love a dry shampoo that's a little bougier nicer whatever why not but i mean I, right now i'm using one by dove that i like better than this it's the dove i think it's volume or something i mean that's something we go through i'm not spendy on dry shampoo deodorant okay donna karen cashmere mist is like a cult fave i love it so much and a while back i got the aluminum free version this is so good i use natural deodorants for years and years after i had my daughter um <laughs> stopped working okay the hormones were like no mm -mm, this this no you smell you smell now okay get some real deodorant lady uh no i'm kidding but dry but natural deodorants are real they're good but you have to find the right ones they're not all great it can be very irritating because a lot of times the natural ingredients like you know essential oils can be very irritating baking soda can be very irritating in those uh formulas so I don't know, you just have to find the right one. And this one's amazing. It is expensive. And I already had several of these that I had kind of like stocked up from I think the anniversary sale. There's some in my bottom. So I'm getting through those. And then when I do feel splurgy and I want to get more of that, I will go for the aluminum free. So if you're into natural deodorant, but you want a little bit of an excitement, grab that. Let's do the hair stuff. I've got so much makeup empties, too, of good things. A lot of times, like, I mean, I go through my skincare, I go through my hair stuff, but makeup takes me a little, sometimes longer to get through, and it's odd because I do stick with what works. I don't have a ton of makeup products that I'm cycling through, so naturally I'm going through them slower. Like, I really will just stick with one thing, and, and it does take a while. So, again, my mind is just always blown by, I don't want to say the wasteful nature, because again, I'm not someone on this platform like claiming to be great with all that, because, um, but it just, it does blow my mind when you look back at the years of all those massive collections, and you know we went through that, I talk about this all the time, but it just was really such an epiphany for me, like, this stuff is old, we collected all that MAC stuff, it was old, and then I hit a point where I was like, okay, really trying a lot of things, really just honing in on what works. And so I do feel really good about that. That's why I don't always have a lot of bad, bad products because y'all, we found the best and I'm going to continue to find new stuff and to not dabble in like junk that may not, you know, I don't want to dabble in a bunch of junk. I dabble in the good stuff. Okay. Gosh, this... Okay, listen, so shampoo, 
I just, this is my favorite shampoo of all time. The uh, Colleen Rothschild shampoo and the conditioner and then also the mask. Amazing, that's what I'm using now. I got some of those going. I've been using those for years and they're just amazing. They work with all hair types. Before we get into, I guess the skin and stuff, let me just talk about the products that I did not like. And I have a ton again, like I said, of makeup and stuff. I wanted to be fair with these. The whole vibe now with makeup, and we've talked about that, is for me too, for years, has been ease. I want the look of what you get from a contour, what you get from all of those, you know, videos where you see multiple steps and it looks like artwork. I ain't doing that, okay? And a lot of times it's too many products, things will wreck your skin. We use simple things and it is best, okay? It's good for me. I posted a video on Instagram the other day of earrings and people saw my highlight and I got so many DMs, I would never say that. Oh, and I got five. No, it was tons, I kid you not, of people saying, what is that? Share the goods, share the goods. And I'm like, literally in that slide on Instagram, I had a link and it was like to the earrings, but anytime you see me on LTK, if I'm linking to anything, I will link to the makeup products, the shades. Look at the caption in the LTK, I'll list shades of what I'm using. So that was already there. I am not a gatekeeper. In the videos, I have showed every single thing I have either put into my face, onto my face, every product, every procedure for years, okay? You can never say I don't share the goods and then I don't share it a million flipping times. So sometimes when people are like, why didn't you share this? I'm like, I did and I get that, but Okay, if I'm linking to it, if, I, if there's, but you know, you guys can see. So the highlight um, is the same highlight that I've linked to, we've talked about for a long time on here, or recently. Um, it's the Chanel Sculpting. I will link to that below if you're curious. It's so easy and simple. I've showed you how I do it in videos. It's a stick product. Years ago, I hated it because I thought this is like Vaseline. It's like, why is it so shiny? I liked a powdery highlight. I liked a matte look. I'm gonna be 40. You know, I feel like my skin looks really good for my age. I feel like my skin look ten, looks 10 times better now than it did in my early 20s. I've taken care of it. I've shared the goods, okay? We, we're, we know what we're doing here. I think it, it looks better because I have embraced a natural skin finish. I'm not matting it out. When you use products that are naturally, I don't say shinier, but that just aren't unnaturally matte. Skin isn't matte naturally. That's not natural. You look, I feel, you get a, a younger effect. Your skin looks healthier and your skin, I think, will stay healthier and happier because it's not dried out all the time. Um, so these sticks have had a moment. Um, and I like that. Now, I've talked about the merit sticks. This is very important, okay? We did a video a couple months back. It was like, makeup that will not wreck your skin. I searched high and low for a bronzer stick or a contour stick that did not have pore-clogging ingredients. Um, I do have a website that I kind of run kind of that stuff through. I will link to that below. That is tough. And things that you just typically think of that are pore-clogging, are not all. The oils are not the enemy. Certain oils are, okay, that are more clogging. Some oils aren't. M many of them aren't. But there's waxes, there's coconut oils, there's all of these things that are actually very not great for your skin. They might be a natural thing, they might be very emollient, but they're gonna clog your pores. And that is packed. I mean, all of these sticks are just packed with those things. They're beautiful products, but I'm like, dang, you can make something so beautiful without that. And the Merit stuff has done that. I actually used up this whole stick. We will talk about that. Um, that's nothing new. I shared the cream blush that I use from them, the bronzer sticks. I will link to those, the ones that say Merit. But these I tried and they were not great for me. Now the dip sticks are, I think, beautifully done. I love that one end is a bronzer, one end is a blush. I raved about these. They looked, this one's actually barely used because this is the one that I use the most. I loved the way that they looked on my skin. I love this concept. But I started getting like little sandpapery thing, big zits, you know what I mean? Some some bigger. My cheeks, I mean, I still have a scars on my cheeks where I had giant, I'd never broken out on my cheeks before, ever in my whole life. Um, if you look at your skin and you see that you have bumps in that area or 
could be your products. For years, I would break out on my chin. I'm oily there. I would be putting powders. The powders, what do you think happens when you touch up with a powder in the middle of the day on top of oily skin? It creates a paste and it clogs your pores. And so you're probably going to break out more there. But I wasn't really doing that here. I, okay, you guys know. Look at the patterns of where you're breaking out. You don't have to accept skin texture issues. And I see so many girls, so many women now that are doing their makeup with all of these stick products that are, um, that could be a little pore clogging. People love these. I actually love them, linked to them, like raved about them. And then a couple months later saw some problems because it does take several weeks for sometimes for your skin to break out when you use something. Certain skin types may love this. I have kind of like combination skin, not super oily. I mean, I never set my stuff. I don't usually find that. I'm My skin is aging. I do like a lot of moisture. I couldn't handle these, um, but I love them. I wish they would take those pore clogging ingredients. So, you know, I just wish, I don't know, I wish the ingredients were a little different. And so many products have that in it, but it's rare to find ones that don't. And my skin is so breakout prone, you guys. You might look at it and say, oh, it's clear, whatever. I, if I use the wrong powder, if I use the wrong product, it will break out like crazy. If I like look at something, it's going to break out. I was so into these. I kept getting sold these on Instagram. I kept getting that out. And oh my gosh, these OG sticks. I bought the crystal set. I think it was called the crystal skin set. And I was like, ooh, ooh, mommy can't wait. Now the brush, I still have the little brush. That's what I use um, for my highlight. I take that Chanel stick and I just kind of rub the brush over it and just put it like that, which we've talked about. You guys have seen me do that. But this was the same vibe. It came with like the opal highlight, which is beautiful. The rose quartz blush, beautiful. And then the copper bronzer contour. I, when I say I love these and it pained me to stop using them, I'm like, like no joke. This, these broke me out, I think the worst. Um, and this was probably six, eight months. This was a long time ago, okay? So, I, you know, I really hated to stop using it but because I love the way they made my skin look. Um, but then I stopped using it. My skin's fine. I've been using this. And you can actually, it is a thing. Pore clog clogging ingredients, it is what it is. And I just wish that these expensive products would not use those things. So that, that was just, uh, I'm sorry. I just, I really disliked those. I loved, okay, here's what. I loved the way they made my skin look until it started breaking out. Um, and I will link to that website where you can like cross check your ingredients, which I think is really cool. It's also the company that makes the no Botox serum that I've been using. Um, it's been, oh my gosh, I haven't had Botox since like the early part of the year. It's probably been like eight or nine months. I don't even know. Botox lasts three months for me. I've not been using that. I, so I feel like my skin looks really good. So, um, that serum's really good. I will link to it. It's actually in here. I have one that's empty. The Bounce Back Serum. Oh, this replaced this. This was something I used for years. It is the TNS Advanced Plus Serum. It has all of the peptides, the human growth factor, like what are they called? Peptides, skin regenerating thing. And I'm not kidding. I mean, th this is like, oh, you'll look, I don't know, six years younger in 12 weeks. It really works, but it's also close to $300. And I was like chained to this stuff for years because I thought it is so good. It makes your skin look clear, tight, juicy, not all the good things. It's a miracle. But I was trying to find something different and nothing ever was truly the same. I kind of Googled some of the ingredients and this popped up and I was like, oh, that's that company that I use, you know, for the pore clogging ingredients list. So it's the Clear Stem Bounce Back Serum and on the website it says like it's a no Botox serum. Um, collagen, tripeptide, argan. This is a miracle. I'm on my second bottle of this now and I, I use it morning and night. I get the same exact results as the TNS Advanced. Um, it is still around $90, so it's not cheap, but it's going to be a good investment for your skin. You could use much cheaper like face wash and something else um, and then invest in that. Speaking of, this is, I believe, $28. It is the best moisturizer I've ever used. I think I have two in here. I'm on my like third bottle of this. I love this. This is the best moisturizer ever, okay? It makes your skin look bouncy, plump, kind of the effect of like what an oil would make your skin look like, but it's not. It's a very 
oh, they're speaking out of something that was like really oily, leaking all over this stuff. It's beautiful. It's a gel cream for acne prone skin, which usually as someone that has acne prone skin, but that is also wanting to address aging, I want something rich that will not break me out. This is a rich, beautiful cream. It has a natural cotton candy scent. There's no added fragrance, but that scent is like yummy. Okay, um, so getting back to these sticks. I do have some skin things, but let me like stick with this. This is such a wonderful product. I love this brand so much. I love the minimalist foundation stick. I keep one in my purse all the time. You can just kind of go around and touch up. You can use it as foundation. I'm like I said, I'm bringing that when we travel. This is amazing. Um, very rarely have I ever blown through like I don't want to say that like an entire stick of something or like that's how you. I mean, obviously that's how you know you like something. You've used it. It's how you can like I think trust someone's review. It's like they didn't just throw something up. Oh, this is great. As they say, always with these videos, I I really love watching these from other people because i'm like they actually used all of that which one means they liked it and they didn't just sell me something and say oh this is wonderful and they ditched it and started using something else no they're actually using these things but if you actually use a whole thing you can actually provide a really good review and it's not someone that sometimes hasn't even opened the flipping product to review it okay let's just be honest so i love this the color that's perfect for me is the sen color s-e-i-n-e um, the first one that I ever bought was clay, which is the shade lighter than this. And then I ended up buying the scent, which I think scent is the best for me, but, um, I'm using the clay one now. I'm just going to use that one cause it's great too, but, um, these are amazing. And I used my brush. I rolled it all the way up and I used my brush and got the last bit of it today so I could wear it for the video. But also this is a beautiful product and I, um, just repurchased another one of these it is the Iconic Illuminator in the shade Glow. You might think, okay, that's like a highlighter because it literally is sold kind of as an illuminator, a highlighting product. I think the other shade is more of like a champagne-y. One's more like, you know, a blushy, like rosy color. The one that's Glow is perfect, and I just use it with a beauty blender. It's a dropper, and you just dab it on, and then um, take your beauty blender and just dab it. So I've put like a few dots here, a few dots there, a few dots here, one right, maybe on the side of my nose. Typical. Put it on your eyelids if you want. Um, I did that today. I put it on my brow bone. Such a good product. Again, no ingredients that will break you out. And I'll put this on right after my foundation. You can even mix just a teeny, teeny, tiny bit in with your foundation. But you got to be real careful with that. I don't really like to do that. I like to just, you do my foundation, put a few little drops on, blend it in. And then, you know, if you want to even deepen it, I'll take this because this is kind of like a warm tone. Or just use one or the other on their own. I used both today for like a really sun-kissed glow. And this really lasts a long time on the skin. So those two products are great. And I actually just repurchased those. Let's get through the skin stuff. My makeup remover oil, the Chanel anti-pollution cleansing oil. These are so good. And I mean, if you wear makeup, you need a product like this. It's so easy. I don't like to rub my face with makeup remover wipes. I don't like the whole fussiness of a double cleanse. And if you are just going right in, washing your face over your makeup, you're not getting it all off. You're probably not being so easy on your eyelashes and it's too scrubby. You want something that's just gonna melt it away that you don't have to rub and break off your eyelashes and pull them out. Um, and also you want these probably nicer, more expensive face washes and skincare that you're buying to actually be working on your skin and to not just be working on your makeup. So that oil, you know, I'll, dry skin, you know, I just go to sink, put my hair up, put it on, and then just rub my face, turn the water on. Before you wash your face anyway, you're gonna splash your face with water. So it's not a fussy double cleansing, anything that adds any time to your routine. It's just gonna make your skin better and that is the best product, I love it so much. Um, oh my gosh, I love this. My friend Jen got me hooked on this when she gave me a little sample of this. And I, oh my gosh, I just absolutely love it. And I kept the little travel size because I have to, I mean, I have to take it with me everywhere I go. But the Tower 28, this is the Daily Rescue Facial Spray. You might think, all these facial sprays, like a little woo-woo, whatever. This actually has, uh, what is it? Hydrochloric acid. That's probably not the right thing. Where is the word? 
yeah, hypochlorous acid. So it's something that's gonna combat redness. Um, if you have any sort of issues with like, sometimes my skin gets dry around here and a little itchy or this will take care of that. Those little bumps you might get, any sort of skin issues that are true skin issues that this will take care of it. It'll keep you from getting like kind of a lot of redness. This is something I spray on um, in the morning, at night, just anything like a, like a toner, okay? Amazing scrub, I love this. The method, the Lancer method polish. This is just the regular one. Um, but I also really like the one that's for like, clogged pores. That's the one that I repurchased, the one for oily combination skin. I think that one works a little better on my skin, but this one's great too. I'll take any of them, okay? They've even got one for sensitive skin. But a physical exfoliant is so key in having smooth skin, taking care of textural issues, and anti-aging. Obviously, use your AHAs, your BHAs, whatever, like your, you know, chemical exfoliants. But you, I I'm telling you, physical exfoliant is a must. And you just got to get the right one. And this one is great. I used this too a while back, the, um, the Wishful Yoglo Enzyme Scrub thinking I could kind of maybe replace that with this just to try to find something a little more affordable. I mean, this was still not super cheap, uh, but the Lancer is a little pricey, but it does last a long time if you're very sparing with it, as I try to be, but I just, I love it so much. This was good. Uh, it did not have as much scrubbiness as I would like, but it was still good and I would use it again. Um, it was great. My goodness, you guys, so much makeup. I really got through a lot of makeup. Okay, the Bloom. You saw the Bloom moisturizer, such a must. The oil for acne prone skin, so good. If you have a crazy breakout, if you have an area that's going nuts, if you find that you're just gonna put stuff that really dries it out, that usually can, that may not be the vibe. This has ingredients that they say kind of like melts acne. And I will say like when I've used it on breakouts or I've used it just in areas that are healing or my whole skin, I'll just put it on, I mean, preventative but it's very moisturizing it will not break you out but it will take care of and heal acne very quickly um i'll go ahead and do these the colleen ralph child glycolic acid peel pads love these so much i use these at night speaking of ahas and, and chemical exfoliants i love that it makes your skin feel really bright this was great too when I place a beauty pie order, I am going to add this in. I really love so many of their products. The Super Drops Brightening and Oxygenating Niacinamide and some kind of oxygen skin ingredient. These, this was beautiful. I love this product. And um, one of those things I was just kind of like adding in, not like for fun or whatever, but it wasn't like my moisturizer or my scrub or like my, you know how you have like those cornerstones in your routine. That was kind of something I was adding in, but when I ran out of it, I, I kind of really miss it. So I might want to get some more. Um, oh, one more hair product, the per Protect and Perfect Styling Cream. That has a heat protectant in it too. And if you want to air dry as I do 99% of the time or heat style or heat dry, whatever, um, it works. My hair, I'm very low maintenance with my hair, as you can see. Another, I didn't even think of this when I was talking about Beauty Pie. Um, it's literally like in my hand. The Beauty Pie Uber Youth Neck and Chest Serum Lifting Spray. This is so good. Oh, okay. I'm very particular, about, not particular, but if we're going to care about makeup and skincare, I'm shocked to see how many people don't take care of or even like mention your neck. And I've always really, you know, I've I've kind of been forced to take care of my neck because I have, it gets very dry and scaly. Like right now it feels sticky because it's just always sticky because I have so much stuff on it to keep it from getting dry. And I think that's good long term because, you know, it'll help with like aging and whatever, fine lines. I went to get Botox, I mean, I, well, it was a long, long time ago. And sometimes they'll do those before pictures. And I remember she was like... She's like, do you need your neck bands treated? And she looked, she's like, oh no, you already did. I was like, no, she goes, go like this so we could see your neck bands. And I was like, I never even thought about neck bands, so thanks. No, I'm kidding. But like, I just feel, and, and we're always looking down, okay, which causes that. I don't care. I don't care about wrinkles. I don't care about skin aging. But what I'm saying is, do it in a healthy way. Throw some moisturizer on your skin. You know what I mean? It's going to help. Um, but I like to use a really rich moisturizer there. But this is something that anyone can use. Um, you know, put it in your moisturizer, spray this on during the day. I would spray it on every now and then here and on my chest. 
it really really makes a big difference and yeah I think I'm gonna place an order for this and the super drops maybe some other fun things I really do love beauty pie it's so good uh, this has been what I've been using on my neck I use any kind of rich cream I can get my hand on if I get a sample of something that I'm like mm, I probably wouldn't put that on my face but I'll put it on my neck you know um, but I've used this on my face too it's really good the Pericone rejuvenating moisturizer so good and I have another one open that I got in that um, set from the anniversary sale you saw every morning and night this is a lot more stuff than I thought you guys speaking of Pericone let's just um, the deep crease serum this is something that would be good like for anywhere where you have deep creases you know it's a really nice um, nourishing serum but it's not greasy put it on I would say under your moisturizer you know it's a serum so use it before moisturizer but I would use this on my neck too at night and I have another one open and I just think it's a nice thing to do just put a little bit on there mix it with your moisturizer um, doesn't have to be a big deal it's kind of a fun thing to do and then layer a rich cream over it the eyelid lift serum if you have if you're like oh what is that okay I've talked about this stuff for 10 years. It's amazing. I feel like, I mean, my eye area, I'm so happy I started using this such a long time ago. We'll never be without this stuff. I will never be without this stuff. Um, I use it every morning and every night. My makeup goes on just fine over it. I put it right here. You can even use it under your eyes. But I, I like to use a different eye cream under my eyes. I like to really conserve this just for this area so that you don't have any creping, you don't have any sagging. I'll link to the eyeshadow that I used to if you're curious um I have a few foundations I had so much of this Clinique Acne Solutions I love this foundation I feel like they're discontinuing it because I haven't been able to find it many places anymore like the shade two I like shade one and shade two right now having a little more like you know sun I would do shade two but um I, I, I think it's um I don't know you guys I think it's I think it's going and that's okay. I mean, we have other things we love. Um, this was a good eye cream. I had a bunch of these, like, in little samples that I would gotten from uh, the doctor's office where I get my, you know, my injections and stuff, which, I, again, haven't done that in a long time. I need to go get a skin screening. I need I, I need to go back at some point. But um, I said I was going to hold off on Botox for the rest of the year, and I really have no desire to get it. So that's been nice. I'm still doing the Nira laser every day, which we'll talk about that. I'm going to do the 90 days um update which will be around thanksgiving but that i think is really helping too i just use that around my eyes okay this is real good um, um, um but again like i just i don't know i with eye cream i really like eye cream and like certain ones better than others but i don't know lately i've just kind of been using what i have okay all right what on earth okay i have this i did end up purchasing a larger one of these the uh, Caudalie Beauty Elixir. It's just like straight up alcohol, I'm not gonna lie, um, with like some some flair, you know, like first two ingredients, alcohol, no big deal, of oh, water, then alcohol. But it just smells very alcoholic, which is fine, a little pepperminty, but that's what I like. It's very refreshing. Um, I spray it on over my makeup, spray it on throughout the day. I have two of my Lumify eye drops. These are a must. I use these every morning just as a routine when I'm doing my makeup or getting ready after I wash my face. It's a part of my skincare, I feel. I just have it up there, put it in every morning. It makes the whites of your eyes very white. It's nice and safe to use. Okay, and then this is the rest. So let's go through the makeup. This is one of the best lip glosses I've ever used. The um, Forget the Filler Glazed Lip Gloss. I would definitely purchase that again, but I am using what I have and I'm trying to get through a few things. Uh, the Maybelline, oh my goodness, so good. Master Precise All Day Liquid Liner. Maybelline makes, again, I've said this so many times, some of the best eyeliners. This is a very, very good liquid liner. One of the best. Um, okay. The Rare Beauty Kind Words Matte Lip Liner in the shade Worthy amazing such a great shade such a great color these lip liners that roll up i just feel go so quickly this really didn't last long at all maybe because i just really liked it and i was using it like every day but um i it really kind of went fast it was a formula that wore beautifully no no notes okay perfect 
but it's a softer formula. It was a roll up, so went very quickly. Um, this is do speaking of going quickly, don't ever, and I, okay, I don't say don't ever, because this is a great product, and I fully bought it maybe like two or three times. The Dior Show Brow Styler in the shade brown. Okay. Um, these are those tiny little ones that just roll up. There's no lid, but it has the little spoolie on the end, which I won't even buy a brow product if they don't have that. It's such a waste of time if a brow product doesn't have a spoolie with it. This is great. It's just like that Anastasia eyebrow pencil or those that are so teeny tiny. You get literally a speck of product for the money. Nothing better. They're beautiful in how they like apply, but they'll be gone in about a month and it's just not worth it. And this $3 eyebrow pencil. I'm on my third one. I think this is my second one I used up. I just bought a third one. I was again in Target where they have all that like you know, they have like Mac in my Target and any brand you can think of that they have like at a Sephora or, you know, they have that whole section that's like Ulta. So I guess it's an Ulta, not a Sephora. But let me tell you, I was so tempted and I was like browsing the nice like brow pencils and then I was like, I'm getting my $3 e.l.f. one. That is perfect. That's what I've been used. That's what I use all the time. And it is the Instant Lift Brow Pencil and I use the shade Neutral Brown. So it's a roll up vibe, okay? So it's not thin, it's not thick. I do not like those of the big old wedge ones. And I, I just, I think this is just perfect. It's just, it's not too thin, it's not too thick. And then the end has a real nice spoolie. It's very good packaging. It's $3. Okay. Do I like, what are we doing? That's what we, just come on. Um, oh, another, this probably wasn't completely out, but it started smelling different. Lip gloss grosses me out. This is the Buxom Celeste. Uh, when I was at that, I, I, I take that back. I did buy a lip gloss the other day. I never can resist the Buxom lip glosses like that. I love the way they make your lips feel. That's what I'm wearing today in White Russian Sparkle. Um, I did grab that one. So I have a new brow, brow serum. Love that. I have a Revita Lash, Lash Serum, Lash Serum, I'll link to those. I swear by those, okay, I've used those for like years each, just love them. And then two mascaras, my Chanel Volume to Chanel. Again, if it's like, I love trying new mascaras, there are so many great ones, but you always have that one or two that you're like, uh, it's just a safe bet, that's what I'll repurchase and I know it's so good. That's what this is for me. It has everything I love in a mascara. So much volume without being like spidery or wet looking. And this is another one, the Better Than Sex. Just the regular pink, like Better Than Sex and the pink tube, so good. But I bought this brown one and I really, really, really liked the brown one. And I never would have worn like a brown or brown mascara. But I really liked this. But what I've been using lately is... Um, the Lash Doll by Lancome, um, or today I wore the Better Than Sex, just the regular. So that's, I have both of those in my drawer. That's kind of what I've been going back and forth with. Um, but that's it. That's it, you guys. That's all. I mean, I feel like that was fully so many things. Um, I hope that you guys enjoyed this. I always love doing these. I love hanging out with you guys. It's going to kill me to not do a video this week. Not, not kill me like, oh, I feel like I need to. I wouldn't be doing this if I didn't like it. I love being here with you guys. Obviously, we've done it for so many years. And um, I do miss when I'm not on here talking to y'all. But uh, head to my Instagram. We'll be hanging out there the same as always. It's just I'm, not, I'm just not going to be able to make a video this week. I'm just not going to. It's not a big deal. Um, but I'll link to the things that I think you guys should try. Every time I do these videos, I'm always like, oh gosh, because there's so many things to link. But um, so many great things. And again, like I mentioned that photo that I posted where people were asking about my highlight and then started asking about skin. Like, do you share your skincare? And it's like, yes, and I get it might be someone new. But like, y'all, I literally gatekeep nothing. I pour it out. I share everything with y'all. That's what we do here. Such a good group of things, and you know, I really always hate to say, oh, this product sucks, this is this, this is that, because again, it's all relative to what people like, but I am just floored that 
most brands, even like powder blushes and foundations and products that we put on our skin. Well, foundations I feel are more, I think, they're more careful about putting those ingredients in foundations, but yet they'll put like the coconut oils, the waxes, all these things in these stick products because that's just like the typical base for those. Put those in such an area that that is breakout prone that um, it just floors me that more, more brands don't, that more brands aren't as careful with that. Now, I think the Chanel stick that I use uh, may, have some, may have some pore clogging things in it. So far, so good. I've used it for months. I haven't had any issues with it, and I do like it. Merit does make one that is, it's identical to the Chanel. Um, but I'm using the Chanel stick, and then I'll use it. either one. I like both equally. But the Chanel is the one that I've been using. Um, but, yeah, I again, I just, I do feel that little pang of, like, guilt. I don't want to say guilt, but, I, you know, I never want to come on here and be so dramatic and say something is just awful. But... I am always brutally honest about what works and what doesn't for me and why. And the reason that those sticks like the dibs and the OG things don't work is because they do have those ingredients. If you're like me and your skin is very picky, you may want to try the Merit ones. Um, and be a little careful when all of these brands and everything you see on YouTube, TikTok, or Instagram, or whatever people doing makeup is all these sticks and creams and all these little... Um, they look very satisfying to use and they look beautiful on the skin until you've used them for a couple months and then you're dealing with like breakouts, you know, or you see someone that's always doing makeup and they've used these products for years and they're showing what all they have to cover up. And I'm like, I wonder if you would have to cover all that up if you were just using better products, you know what I mean? And that's what we do here. We've talked about better products than others, things that I like, things that I don't. And it's my opinion, and I'm entitled to that. And we can all, I just want to share. So, um, anyways, y'all, I will miss you this upcoming week. Yeah, but I'll be back the next week. Follow me on Instagram. I'm not going any, I'll, I'll be around. I'm not, like, dropping off. I'm just not going to have a video again. Said that for the third, 3,000th time. I'll shut up. Um, I hope that you guys are doing well. Thank you for watching. If um, there's any videos that you want to catch up on, definitely go back. Check out some that you may have missed. I just love you guys so much. I appreciate you being here and I will see you very soon. Bye you guys.